Coco Bravo. I, I love it. In Lima, Peru, he writes to me, Hey, Paul, I'm currently not a cable believer. Oh, boy. But I keep hearing that cables can make a huge difference. Is it possible that the improvement people hear from expensive cables is due more to the construction quality, better shielding, durability, than to any magic sonic properties? Yes, absolutely. You, you've got it right. I, I know there's going to be my, my friend Bill Lowe who runs AudioQuest, I'm sure is going to argue with me on that. And Bill makes my favorite cables right now. So, I, you know, nothing bad about, about Bill. And the identical construction and geometry and two completely separate types of materials, for instance, silver versus copper, absolutely sound different. But in the past, we've used different varieties of copper from uh, uh, PCOCC, oxygen free to uh, and any number of different copper types. And while they had slight differences, the, the vast majority of copper based cables that we manufactured and designed that I've heard that I know about, it's the geometry, the way it's woven, the way the gauge is handled. For, let me give you an example. When we long ago built our own line of cables, one of the things we focused on was multi-gauge, okay? And multi-gauge is a known quantity in the field of cable design and manufacture. And, and it's quite simply, if you take a very heavy, thick conductor, like a 12 gauge cable, right? It's a Romex. You buy it at the hardware store and you wire your home with it, right? So that's solid core, 12 gauge, 10 gauge, very thick conductor. That will have a certain sound quality to it. Heavy base, big structure to it that is, is bold and, and big, but not much in the high end. So highs are rolled off, kind of muted. If you very simply combine that 12 gauge solid core cable with say a 22 gauge solid core conductor that is separate from the 12 gauge that has the opposite effect. That 22 gauge doesn't have any bottom end, doesn't have this big woomph, but it has beautiful silky top end. And if you combine the two, you get the best of both worlds. So that's just a quick example of how construction, the, the geometry, the, it, it, I, I talked about uh, weaving them like Ray Kimber does when, when, you, when you do these, um, and that cancels out a lot of the, the inductance uh, when you when you weave it in at right angles to each other and all that we're not going to get into the whole thing but absolutely I think for sure cable construction and geometry is by far more important than materials used though they do matter okay I hope that's a I'm sure that's going to spark some controversy <laughs> good all right talk to you later <laughs> bye Thank you.